It's 2.30 on Wednesday the 26th, and we wanted to give our update on GameStop. The stock popped higher from 210 to 230 to 40 overnight. We think this was a lot of retail buy orders coming in after hours. You know, those orders stack up, and then as the market opens, they all sort of are released on the market, and that could have been what really pushed this thing higher because the activity really during the day has been fairly lax. It's been fairly muted. And that presents a problem for options holders. If you are a long option holder, when the stock stalls out, the implied volatility comes down. The implied volatility of those options comes down and you're starting to lose value. This is very expensive for you as an option long holder to have the stock just stall out. What we can see from our equity hub information is that there was some bullish options activity. If you go to the equity hub and you just type in GME, you can see first that the New key gamma strike is 200. This was 170 yesterday, so that's a bullish sign. However, we now have 43% of total gamma expiring this Friday. Yesterday, I believe this was in the 20s. So that told us that there was a lot of people who came in yesterday and bought options that expire in two days on Friday. The issue with that is we have earnings on the 8th. So there's an event on the 8th. There is nothing to hold the volatility of these options that expires on the 28th. That is this Friday. In other words, those things have two days and the time decay of calls and puts that expire on Friday is very, very high. And so the result of that is any long call positions are going to start burning up. And that means market makers can start to sell off long hedges that they have on as those call options expire. So what you have here is this big gamma area, 200 and nothing to really hold the stock up here. If natural stock buyers come in, that can obviously hold it up, but they're going to have to start to outweigh the effects of the hedge unwind of the long stock hedge unwind that comes from market makers. So if we look at the equity hub volatility view, you can see that there is nothing but pure green call gamma here. That's what is indicating. However, the bulk of gamma is concentrated at 200. So this is a big magnet area. Now, implied volatility for any option that, that expires after the 28th. Now, implied volatility for any option that expires after June 8th is likely to hold up. So if you wanted to get into a long call bet, you would probably want to buy an option that expires after earnings because any option that expires before earnings is really going to get beat up by this time decay factor. So for those of you who are into options, you would call this a charm trade where options decay leads to market makers selling off some of their long stock hedges. If we flip over to our Twitter feed, you can see we posted this chart before of that implied volatility that we were just referencing. And what you can see here is that this is the implied volatility for a 25 delta option. And each color represents a different distance to expiration. So in this case, a purple dot is like two days to expiration in a Yellow dot is about 10 days to expiration. And so what you can see is if you think about implied volatility as the cost of options, the cost of options today in GameStop is high. It's higher than it's been in the last month. But relative to the craze of January, you know, we're still really far away from there. That doesn't mean that the options aren't expensive now. I think they are. It just means that we are nowhere near the mania of late January. And if you look at Thinkorswim, we show two things. One, we show call volume for today. And you can see that is very heavy in the purple boxes. And the purple boxes are options that expire this Friday. And you can see that the call implied vol is skewed, obviously, very high. And so, again, what the issue is here is that people are trying to buy cheap options in GameStop that expire on Friday. And there's just no catalyst for the thing to move before earnings. So now we have this time decay factor that is likely to start weighing in on the stock. And that is, again, because market makers should be unwinding long stock hedges. If you actually look at the price of options here, you can see that the implied volatility for these May 28th expiry options is still very high. It's in the two and three hundreds. And if we actually look at the options open interest in volume, you can see, you know, very heavy flow at the 250 strike for this Friday. Again, these things at 10 bucks are likely to start decaying quite a bit. You know, note the 300 strike as well. 18,000 calls traded today versus open interest of only 5,000. So we think there's a lot of very, obviously very short term, we call it transient flow, guys that are just trying to ride some momentum. But these options are going to burn up quite quickly. And that means, again, that market makers can unwind 
long stock hedges that they have on. And so we think that from a time perspective, the stock will likely kind of drift back down into this large 200 gamma strike line into Friday because there is such a large options position tied to the 200 strike for this Friday. We think that the stock is likely going to come under some pressure and start to make a move back to this big gamma area of 200. Next week gives the traders another opportunity to squeeze higher. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. You can also try out the Equity Hub for yourself and look at over 3,500 different names. Simply hit subscribe now, enter your email, and you get a free trial.